Uh, there is also this incredible reporting that the knife sheath that was found at 1122 King Road um, up on Maddie Mogan's bed beside the bodies of Maddie Mogan and Kaylee Gonzalez, that knife sheath that was left behind with the trace DNA, apparently sent out of state to a startup in order to process. Um, don't know if that means the lab in Idaho, uh, the state lab wasn't good enough. Uh, but that's where it went to identify. Uh, this is a really good time to bring in Mark O'Mara, criminal defense attorney, civil rights attorney, smartest person I know in the law. I am curious right away, Mark, before I even get to the document stuff, about that knife sheath. Because all I can think of is the defense attorney saying, wait, the state of Idaho didn't, you couldn't do the job of finding any DNA on that knife sheath? You had to send it, outsource it? Does that mean that's going to be litigated and fought and contested and diminished by a defense attorney at trial? Absolutely, because again, defense attorneys look wherever they can find to find a potential of reasonable doubt. And when there is a test, either that they have to do unique, they have to go out of state, they have to do it a second or third time, or it's inconclusive, those are little items, little, little catchphrases that defense attorneys use to see if there's reasonable doubt there. Now, again, it's got to be taken in comparison to all the other evidence, but certainly a defense team has to be pretty happy that that test did not come back positive to Koberger's DNA on it, for example. So yeah, it's something they're going to look at. Yeah, okay. Then I want to just ask you, and this isn't very exciting, but I just want to get your take on the state's terse response to, you know, the defendant's second supplemental request for discovery, show me your cards. Uh, basically, they said, you just sit back and be patient, young man. Is this standard op or is there something to it when they say, you don't need to file, we'll give it to you when the law says we have to give it to you? Yeah, and that is sort of standard. You hit it right in the head. You know, if they had something specific they asked for, like give us the fingerprints, give us the DNA, give us this witness statement, Yes, you would see that, but the, the request was somewhat generic and the response was just as generic. Do you have 10 seconds you can give me on the Brady Giglio and tell me if it's yeah, Giglio or Giglio? Absolutely, I use Giglio. It just, that information is that which shows non-guilt. The government has to do that, which makes sense. If you know something that's non-guilt, show it. Giglio moves it over to credibility of witnesses, if you know credibility of witnesses, which is why we saw about the internal affairs investigation. The state's going to be very careful, put everything on the table, so as to not give the defense a reason for appeal should a conviction occur. Yeah, I can't wait to find out what that um, investigation is all about, as I'm sure everybody watching right now feels the same way. But Mark O'Mara, I always love your answers because they make so much sense and you don't use all those, you know, four-syllable words. Thank you for this. Great to be here. Be well. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.